Hi everyone, thank you for showing interest in learning on how to create an integration between Tiktaalik Network Server and Thinksport for Kona Home Sensor. This whole video is divided into multiple steps to help you understand the process easily. As a first step, we will create an integration device on Thinksport that will listen the data from Tiktaalik Network Server. In order to do that, you, you can see the left pen uh, where you can find the device groups. You can click on that to see uh, to see the already created devices or you can or to create a new device. Select all from the device group. Click on the plus icon to add a new device and fill up the form shown in there. Give device a name for the device type select integration and at the end you can you, you should click on is check is gateway checkbox and click on add once you create an integration device you can click on it to copy the access token that will be pasted on the tiktaalik network server Click on copy access token. This marks the end of the first step. As a second step, we need to go back to Tiktaalik network server and click on applications to add an integration link. Uh, I have we have assumed that you have already created an application and added a sensor for which we are going to create an integration so now choose an application under which the sensor is commissioned for whom you wish to monitor the data click on manage integration option from that application click on plus icon to add an integration here on network server which will again bring up a form add the details like name of the integration in the type you can select things board in the data converter select home sensor since we are creating an integration for home sensor in the application address you should enter the web address of the things board integration platform and input at 9883 in terms of token Paste the token copied from Thinksport. This marks the end of the second step. The third step, we need to go back to Thinksport and create a dashboard on Thinksport and link it to the data from home sensor. To do that, click on device groups. select all it will list the integration devices and other devices as soon as the sensor sends the next uplink you will be able to see the list of all devices including the sensors and the gateways since the class a type device is my sensor so i would select that As a fourth step, we would like to create a dashboard for the sensor. To do that, you can click on the telemetry option or you can create a dashboard directly through the dashboard option on the things board. Let's first create a dashboard through latest telemetry. Click on latest telemetry data to display the most up-to-date information from the sensor. now select a parameter for which you wish like to create add a widget showing the data so let's say for example we would like to create a widget for the humidity so select humidity click on once you select the humidity there will be an option saying that 
show on widget in orange color so click on that under the current bundle select analog gauges scroll through the available choices and choose the appropriate widget once you selected the widget <coughs> click on add to dashboard to add a widget now this widget can be added to an existing dashboard or you can add this widget to a new dashboard since there is no dashboard we have created so i would like to create a new dashboard by selecting create new dashboard you can assign a name for example sensor dashboard and you can check mark the open dashboard by doing that when you click on add it will automatically open the dashboard that we just created and it, which will also have the widget to monitor the humidity parameter. You can add widgets for other parameters in a pretty similar fashion. Now, what if we would like to create a new dashboard separately and add a widget inside it? So in order to do that, you can directly go to the dashboard options you shall be able to see the recently created dashboard that we created. Inside it, there is a humidity widget. Now, in order to create another widget in this uh, dashboard, you can click on the uh, plus sign, create new widget, select analog gauges. Let's say we would like to create a widget for monitoring the temperature. So I will create, choose a widget accordingly. Once I added, uh, selected a widget, I need to add the data source. In the entity alias, choose the sensor for which the integration has been created. Like the la basically it will come up with the Devi UI of the sensor. And in case of time series, select temperature since we would like to add a widget for monitoring temperature. Click on add to save the data source. And now it will show up a widget that shows the data for temperature as well. This is the way you can create the widgets inside a dashboard separately, or you can create a widget directly from the device groups. It is also possible to change the color and the data format of the way data is presented in the widget. To do so, click on the pencil icon on any widget. Go to the advanced option. And let's say I would like to limit the digit count for integer part of the data to two instead of three. So save the changes. This way you can change the data format for the data up here in the widget. As a last step in the process, you can also configure the terminal on ThinksBoard to send the downlink commands to the sensor. Let's, so let's say you would like to active uh, enable some part of the functionality of the sensor or you would like to change the number of ticks per hour. You can do it by sending the downlink commands to the sensor. Uh, in order to do so, you can either create a new dashboard or use the existing dashboard. So let's 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 try to create a new dashboard from the scratch using the dashboard options. Click on plus sign. Add a new dashboard name. Let's say configuration terminal, and I will add some information describing the dashboard. Once created, click on edit option, click on to add the pencil icon. Add widget in order, before you do that, you should create an entity aliases. Click on add alias. You can type any name as an alias, let's say home sensor. In the filter type, create single entity device and add the device EUI, Dev UI. 
So 3829 is the sensor for which we would like to send the downlink to. Let's click on add. Click on save option to save the entity alias that we created. Now click on add widget. Terminal. From the current bundle, select control. Once selected, click on and in case in case of entity alias type, the entity alias that we created recently, home sensor, click on add. Through RPC terminal, downlink commands can be sent in prescribed format. So make sure you enter whenever you try to send a downlink, you hit the correct uh, command in a prescribed format. Upon sending the downlink command, you will see the device is offline uh, kind of a response, which is absolutely fine. In order to verify if the sent downlink is reached to the network server or not, you can always go back to the network server go to the sensors and select the downlink queue of the sensor on the Tiktaalik network server. So yes, so you can go to downlink queue, update downlink queue, so there is a downlink which I already sent is there and upon the when the next uplink will be scheduled you would be able to see the downlink in the real-time packets too so that is about how can you set up an integration between Tiktaalik network server and Thinksport I hope you learn the process of uh, doing the same thank you very much for providing your, your valuable time thank you